take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths and try to settle in. As the Buddha says, it's important that you have a place to settle. Some people are afraid of getting stuck on concentration, but the Buddha wasn't afraid of teaching people to stay with concentration. So you have to settle in and indulge in it. Find a comfortable breath that feels really good and just keep breathing that way. Your mind, which is like a flock of birds, can finally settle down in one spot. And then you can feed here. There's a sense of well-being that comes from the breath flowing naturally. A sense of well-being that comes from the mind can just settle down. It doesn't have to take on any responsibilities at the moment. It doesn't have to create any thought worlds. Just be right here. This is the one responsibility you have right now, is just staying with the breath. Try to be mindful. Keep in mind that this is where you want to be. And give the mind a chance to rest. For it to gain any insight, it has to have a sense of being well rested and at its ease. So it can see things clearly for what they are. Otherwise, if you're in a hurry to do this, do that, you can mess things up. And you can jump to some conclusions just because you, got, you want a quick insight. But if you want an insight that's going to last and have value, you have to let the mind settle in for a while and look at things from all sides. There are stories of a John Fuang and a John Mahabu were talking about their time with a John Mun, and they thought they'd figured him out, and then a John Mun would come from another side, from another angle that they hadn't figured out yet, or hadn't noticed yet. Because he'd, his awareness was all around. His way of looking at things was all around as well. And so if you're going to look all around at your mind, you have to be able to settle in for a good long period of time to look at it from different angles. What may seem right from one angle, you begin to see, well, it's not quite right from another. And so you keep making adjustments, and this is how your insight gets more and more refined. You've got to give it time. And they talk about having a sense of urgency in the practice, but the urgency is that you're doing this and not off doing something else. But you can't let the urgency make you impatient. You've got to let things develop at their own pace. The mind has its own rhythm. And by allowing it to settle down, you let it find its own rhythm. So it takes some time to be still. It takes some time to let the mind settle in and really enjoy being right here. Because that's when things become clear. <laughs>